Hey guys, Pango here. Welcome to another episode of Pango Plays Minecraft. One point, well, that's something I have to tell you something about. You see, unfortunately, I can no longer do 1.9 videos. I'm so sorry, guys, but it's because 1.10 just came out, and it's a brand new update with new mobs, new generation in the nether, and much, much more. So I thought I'd update to it, and to commemorate the update, I decided to install something very special. As you can see, already my cave inside looks different. I've installed shaders to make everything look just that much more amazing. Now I have no idea if this will lag out my world, so I have no control over that. But anyway, some new things about this mod that I can tell you already is that there's the auto jump feature, and there's much more that we're going to be able to explore. Luckily there are no new biomes so I can continue on my old 1.9 survival world so what are we going to be doing today well let's see here i actually have no i well we need to create more torches that's one thing definitely important so i really love how the new shaders and of course 1.10 becoming out looks so let's go ahead and make these Brand new torches, if I can craft them correctly. 49, that's not nearly enough. Here we are. That's a lot better. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's kind of a lot of torches. But now we need to burn up this iron to make it into... That is a crafting table. Let's make that all of that iron into iron ingots. And there's this new weird feature called auto jump. It's kind of an, it's really nice, but kind of annoying. Like it's great for just general world traveling, but when you're doing parkour, it gets a little annoying. So, like if I were to jump on this and yeah, jump, 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 jump. See, it's really convenient for just jumping up hills. So that's a great part of the update. I love that. So, what shall we do today? I think we're going to make a um, a few stone axes so that we can chop down some trees as we go on another expedition because this area is kind of boring. So here are our two axes. Let's go ahead and start traveling, and I hope we can find some pretty neat stuff. But first, we have to admire that sunset. It's really, really, really bright. I mean, I'm seriously. Let me check the fr frame rate. 27 frames? That's actually pr not bad. Considering that a while ago it's like doing something like, um, 9 frame rates. Hello, Mr. Squid. I'm gonna get you some ink. And chop down these trees for some nice wood. Before, before night. Now, one thing I don't like that they should update. The leaves don't exactly blow correctly. The leaves look nice, but there are these weird blue lines. I hope I'm not pointing things out too much. But... Right now, it's turning to night, which means that it's going to start looking pretty good. But then again, I should get inside because it's going to be dangerous. Hey, I remember last time we were out at night. Encountered some monsters, got some useful stuff. I think, yeah, we should have a spider coming up. And look, you can even see the sun from here. Yes, that's very nice. And while we're in here, I have to tell you I have Octafine, but I, uh, I've set up something wrong. Just a second. Okay, Octafine fixed. You see, with the shaders back, Octafine also has shaders co came combined, so I can do cool stuff like zoom in, which should be a very convenient feature to have. Let me look at this torch. Looks awesome. It looks super bright. 
Do you agree, guys? Do you agree? Is this too bright for you? Okay. I'll, I'll stop. I, I was probably blinding you, but I'm just enjoying these shaders very, very nicely. Let's go outside real quick, right before it's at uh, monster time. If you just look outside, it just looks better. Er, and wait. I just found out something. If you hold something in your hand, you can actually use it as a light. Which, with these shaders, it's definitely a bit good touch. Though it is a bit more disorienting to placing them. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, what else are we going to be doing? We could... Let's look for some monsters, shall we? I mean, we need some spiders. That's what we need. We need spiders. Now, I don't know whether or not the spiders are going to spawn somewhere around here. In fact, I'm surprised nothing has already spawned. Wait, what is that? That's, that's a spider. Those weird glowing eyes are very beautiful. Hey, spider, has anyone ever told you what uh, beautiful eyes you have? Well, has anyone else told you, told you what, what beautiful string you have? If so, I need your string. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Gimme. Give there we are. We get two pieces of string, which is rather nice. Let me go ahead and grab my torches. Love this feature. So, what else should we do? Definitely punch grass while we're going home. I'd say let's continue exploring and see how long we last. To be honest, I don't think it's going to be very long. But, why not try it? There is an Enderman here, and I kind of want his Ender Pearl, so... We're gonna die. We're gonna die. No. No. Ha. Quick. I have to grab my stuff. No, 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 no. I should not have attacked that Enderman. No, 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 no. Okay. I should not be... All my stuff. Quick, run back to the house. Run back to the house. Okay, so we've died once, which is not good. There's a skeleton right there, and we should run into the house. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Get in. Whew! Little child zombie is scary. The things are fast. Hey, you, you, yeah, you there. Get, get out of my house. Get out. Why can't I hit you? There we go. There we are. I wasn't killing that Enderman for some reason. Oh, I forgot the fighting tactics. That's exactly why I was dying. No wonder. If only I was fighting it properly like you're supposed to in Minecraft now. I would have been fine. Now, something disturbing. I s did see a creeper earlier, but now it's gone. I don't know where it went. Also, this stuff is in the complete wrong order. And did I have a second axe? Uh, oh, well. Guess we learned a lesson, guys. Do not attack an Enderman. That's a very, very, very important vital thing you should know about endermen they're very powerful and only fight them when you're sure of your fighting skills wasn't very sure then but right now we're going to go on a little journey maybe camp up a little bit we've got a nice cave here it's actually an opening from a cave that we've already been to ah there you are get away get away Get away. I don't like you. Alright. There we are. 
Good thing I know how to deal with creepers, huh? There's also a skeleton. Ow! Hey! No! No, don't, don't, sh don't shoot me. There we are. Sorry, guys, um, sorry. You see, I haven't been recording videos lately, and I'll tell you the reason. I've been on vacation, but not only that, but I've been having this very bad chest cold, which made me cough. It's a little bit better right now, but still, uh, I'm coughing every now and then. If I didn't when I was on a full-fledged cough mode, you would have not liked the quality of my video. I can promise you that right now. Also, sorry for the late video. Oh, if you're watching while well, it is late. Anyway, let's go ahead and explore these cave systems, if I can place down the torch. And auto-jump is getting very annoying. Hold on, I need to turn it off. Okay, turned off auto-jump. I know it's a very useful feature when it's actually useful. And that is a large drop. Hold on, I need to find a way to dig into this cave here. And I should have replaced my stone pickaxe. Uh, now I have to use the nice iron one. It's nice and quick though. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and place a torch there. And let's go ahead and de defeat the zombie over here. If I can find the exit. There we are. Hello, Mr. Zombie. How are you today? I don't really want to talk to you, so please go away. Alright. Now, I need to... Wait. Can I hold a torch in both hands? <gasps> yes! Okay, guys. I just figured out something very useful. I can hold a torch in one hand while carrying a sword in the other. Genius! Of course, that feature's been here for a while. Just took me that long to actually realize it. And what a long cave this is. I'm going to get lost. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get lost in this. This looks very bright. Very bright in the shaders. Um, this part of the cave is dangerous. I do not want to be here. Um... Let's go ahead and uh, block this up if we have any cobblestone. At least to the point where it's not flowing everywhere. There we are. And it's going to get very dark down here, isn't it? There we are. Let's go ahead and get back up and explore the rest of the cave because I've seen some pretty neat stuff. For example, this iron. This very beautiful iron. That's all we need right now. Iron. And uh, I just ate a raw flesh. Ew. So you. Anyway. So there's also the water that leads this way. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to be finding. Ooh, we found an entrance. We found an entrance. You can escape. We also found some more iron. Which is always nice. And where are we? We are at an entrance, of course. Let's see here. What entrance are we at? We are someplace I have no idea where we're at. Where are we? We're on the other side of that mountain for sure. I just hope that I didn't completely lose my house. Where is it? Please tell me that's not on the other side of this mountain. We found snow. We found snow, guys, on top of this mountain. Maybe there's a bunch of dug up snow. If there is, and that's good. If not, then it must have been covered up. Man, is that, that snow is so blinding. I can barely see out of it. Um, look, there's the plains biome. Alright, I think we're safe, guys. We're not lost. We're safe. Though, so really, I should dig to the other side of this mountain so that I don't lose that awesome cave that I found. Alright, where's my house? House. House. House, don't leave me like this. 
guys, if I can't find my house, I might need the outro video out here somewhere. But I hope I can find my house. It's got to be around here somewhere. I mean, I'm definitely in a plane biome. I'm probably not going to recognize it just because there's shaders on, but... Hopefully I can find it. Wait, is that it? I can definitely tell what that lava is. The lava definitely looks recognizable. There it is. There's our farm. We are home. Woo! We're safe. It's, it's, it's boring to be safe, but we're safe at least. Alright, let's go ahead and mine out this coal from the side of the mountain. Because why not? We need coal in our life. Or more torches, even though we have like 64. We don't have 64. Wait, where did our, our torches go? Did the Enderman steal our torches? Oh, rah. That's so bad. That is so bad. And frustrating. Very, very frustrating. I'm going to go ahead and go over there and see if I can find my torches. And anything else I might have dropped. Otherwise, we just wasted two stacks of torches on an Enderman death. That's not fun, guys. Not fun. Okay, so this is where I think we were killed by the Enderman, but I'm not seeing any more torches, so... Or up here, for the matter. So yeah, I think we lost... Two stacks of torches. And an axe. Boo! I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's not very good. <laughs> at all but we at least we we're home sweet home and we got some more we got some more coal so that we can go ahead and make some more i mean it's not like torches on, on short supply and i just jumped on our crops i am so dumb anyway our episode timer is reaching a halt and so, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Penga Place Minecraft Survival 1.10 Edition, not 1.9. That was in the old. And if you did like this video, then please leave a like in the description below. If you want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Penga Place Minecraft Survival. Goodbye!